Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and there's another video on love life only using Ashtak Varga. So I have been overwhelmed by the response that I have got for the Ashtak Varga videos. I have not seen this kind of a response for any other video playlist in my channel. So thank you very much for your kind words once again and I already explained for marriage and for career and now this is for uh, the love life how to see somebody's love life from this and here it is there is another chart and here we will see how to consider points in Ashtagvog which houses should we consider okay and we will also see different inclinations within the person all right so let us start and yes as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and please share this with somebody who is interested to know about ashtag Varga. and yes uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart or any other area of your life then you can go down to the description section of my videos to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him okay now this is the example of a libra lagna so number seven sign is here so this is the first house and we need to check this all right again i am reiterating not this this is aries okay and this is libra so what is going on in libra there are 26 points again do not go by dogmatic uh, false bogus rules like less than 28 is bad more than 28 is good there, there's no rule like this okay these are all self-manufactured rules okay so see what's going on in libra in libra which are the planners that are contributing now you may be thinking, oh, but we were supposed to discuss about uh, love and romance. But why are we discussing the ascendant? Well, that is the first thing you should do always. You must discuss about the ascendant, all right, because that will tell you what affects the person the most. Okay, and the planets which are contributing the highest they will always have a big say in his life his or her life irrespective of dashas or irrespective of any other conjunctions or any raj yogas or any other ashtagvarga points so what do i mean by that so here you just check here this is libra number seven so moon is contributing five points and venus is contributing five points so there you see these so out of 26 10 points are coming from moon and venus okay and we all know moon and venus are naturally indicators of uh, love and romance okay moon is more of that emotional side but nowadays that is also very much linked with affairs and venus especially is known for all this okay venus is love and romance and affairs basically and of course at a deeper level it is marriage and at a higher level it is a spirituality because it gets exalted in pisces but at a mundane level it can show affairs okay so now that means his ascendant is been is largely aff affected by these two planets okay so now that means the probability that he so this can show that the person is always seeking love always seeking romance or always seeking the opposite sex okay now whether he will find it or not that's a separate story that will depend on dashas and other things in the chart okay so just because somebody has a uh, moon and venus having more points it does not mean that he will always be having affairs or physical relations with somebody it doesn't mean that it means his inclination could be like that and that is why i have purposefully taken this chart because i personally know this man okay and he is always very much inclined and uh, most of the times he is not interested in anything else well the other thing he is very much interested in uh, is 
having his own business he doesn't like to work why is that because you see moon is the 10th lord here and venus is the lagna lord so lagna lord and 10th lord which means my own work okay 10th house is the boss and lagna is yourself so it's like saying you are your own boss which means you have your own work your own business your own profession so the two planets which can give in inclinations for love love and romance because they are by nature like that when their lordships change they can also give different things okay so now venus and moon by nature they are planets which indicate love affairs but now because as the lagna lord and the 10th lord the story can be a bit modified now you see what else is going on now whenever we need to talk of love and romance we need to check how much is the uh, fifth lord contributing okay to the lagna because that will directly tell you irrespective of the ascendant because fifth house is directly linked with uh, love in general okay not not physical love but any kind of love in general okay so now you see who is the fifth lord here fifth lord is saturn the sign aquarius is there in the fifth house so saturn is contributing four points which is quite quite a number for saturn okay because saturn has quite less points and whenever saturn is contributing four points to any house it means <clears throat> that house is a uh, really very important for saturn okay so now saturn as the fifth lord is contributing to the lagna okay so that means again love and romance will always affect him now uh, when you talk of affairs you also need to check the 12th and the 8th because they show uh, sexuality and bedroom and physical indulgences okay so who is the 8th lord here 8th lord is venus again venus you see venus is contributing five points and who is the 12th lord 12th lord is mercury mercury is contributing decent not too much okay so essentially because of moon venus and saturn and venus being the eighth lord we understand that this person's inherent disposition is he is very much uh, seeking company of the opposite sex okay this person will not uh, shy away from you know flirting with somebody or you know, trying to spark a conversation with somebody this person will not wait till somebody comes and approaches him he will himself go and uh, start talking okay but there's something very interesting here you also check the third lord so who is the third lord third lord here is jupiter third house has the sign sagittarius third lord jupiter how much is jupiter contributing jupiter is contributing four which is decent uh, not quite a bit not very high so third house can show very short term relationships okay at times very 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 short term could be one night stands also because third house is the original house of prostitution okay so that could mean one night stands in today's scenario but here jupiter is not contributing that much which is in fact very good i would say because jupiter is also the sixth lord here so sixth lord can show break in love affairs okay breakups is indicated by the sixth house so um jupiter doesn't have that many points as the sixth lord also so this is relatively good i would say in this area which means he would not uh maybe want to break the relationships very fast okay now that's very tricky because jupiter is the greatest benefic and now he's contributing less points there you see to the ascendant so his inherent disposition towards spirituality is also almost negligible now see jupiter has more po uh, jupiter has less points than venus okay so that means inherently he will be more luxurious luxury prone rather than spirituality okay anyways that's a separate story <clears throat> so this is what his inherent disposition is and from these you points of the ascendant you can understand to what extent is the person seeking love and romance and affairs okay physical relations to what extent 
so now let us go to the fifth house where is the fifth house fifth house is Aquarius so now let us go to Aquarius so there are 27 points so now you see what is going on Mars is barely contributing one point you see there barely and who is Mars Mars is the second lord seventh lord second lord of family seventh house of marriage so that means when he gets into a relationship with somebody the last thing that will th he will think is to get married with that person okay because this is like the last priority he will never ever ever think of marriage never never almost never okay because the seventh lord has zero contribution there i mean one is there but it's like almost like zero so the least <clears throat> and the second lord and seventh lord both are mars so neither is it marriage neither is it family so second seventh and eleventh are houses of marriage so now you know to what extent a person would want to get married to the person he loves because love uh, love affair and marriage are two separate things do not mix it okay both are two different areas one one is the business of the family and marriage another is the business of love so both are totally different areas generally people think both are the same but no in astrology the difference is very clear whenever the fifth house is linked with the eighth or twelfth or the eighth is linked with the fifth or the twelfth is linked with the fifth then there are physical relations and affairs and whenever the second seventh and eleven gets activated then there is marriage okay and if the fifth house is also involved with the eighth or the twelfth then you could say it is a love affair which is getting converted to marriage which in this person's case is highly unlikely because the seventh lord is having the least contribution here okay so now suppose uh, the, suppose uh, this person would be dating a girl and this girl would know this this horoscope okay suppose his girlfriend and suppose you are a friend of this girlfriend and his girlfriend asked you oh what do you think he will marry me so then what should be your answer well maybe he's not very interested in marrying you okay now of course you may not say that directly but uh, you have to give her hints okay so that's what mars is then go to mercury here my god mercury has six points you see and mercury is the 12th lord full propensity for affairs fully ready mercury is also the ninth lord so ninth lord can show familiarity same culture so he he will he is likely to be more attracted to women who is of his same culture or same religion same tradition okay and mercury is similarity okay so he he will uh, sorry mercury is younger younger so so the other thing you see saturn is contributing two points here and saturn is old elder okay and mercury is contributing six points mercury is the young prince so he will uh, his probability of getting attracted to a younger girl is much more than getting attracted to a elder girl okay in fact it's three times higher you see it is two and six i mean if you try to take it in a mundane sense of calculation it's like there is no comparison so whenever he sees any young girl young in the sense now if he's in 40s then a young girl could be 20 25 okay if he's if he's 18 then a young girl could be 12 or 13 if he's 60 then a young girl could be 40 or 50 for him younger than his age his own age okay and who is the biggest contributor and mercury is the 12th lord also so again 12th lord contributing to the fifth house it is like huge massive he definitely wants uh, some some physical relation with this girl now let us go to the other one there you see venus venus is again the natural karaka for love and romance and beauty okay so that means now there are two contenders here who has maximum points one is mercury the other one is venus so this means now youth young age is also a factor another factor is beauty and makeup so the more beautiful the girl girl uh, appears or 
at least he thinks that she is appearing like it, then the more attraction he will have. Okay. Now, what is Jupiter doing here? Jupiter is contributing four points. So, Jupiter can also at times show, you know, getting married or uh, focusing on higher things in life. So, that is there to some extent, but not, not too much, I would say. So, the least important is Mars and the most important is Mercury, which is a girl of a younger age than his and Venus, which is beauty and, you know, makeup and all these things. So these two are the most important and yes the other thing I, which I forgot to tell you is Venus is also the 8th Lord you see again connection between 5th, 8th and 12th okay. So the two contenders are the 12th Lord and the 8th Lord and that is huge and Venus is also the Lagna Lord. So here you see Venus is uh, contributing to the Lagna 5 points and to the 5th house 11 points you see too many points Venus is contributing. So this means the person is very much inclined towards uh, the opposite sex, very much, okay. Now let us go to the 8th house. Let's check what is happening in Taurus. So in Taurus, what is happening? Go to number 2, okay. Now you see this Saturn, the 5th Lord is contributing crazy. This is, this is crazy, you know, Saturn contributing 6 points. My God, this is insane. Okay, and 8th house is the prime house of sexuality. So, again 5th house, again Venus, you see, look at Venus, where he is throwing points. And how much is Mercury throwing this time? Ah, uh, not quite a bit, I would say, 3 points, still decent. And now let's go to the 12th house, okay. 12th house. Virgo, let us go here. Now here Saturn contributes 0 points. Wow, this is fascinating. <laughs> and who is the ma majority contenders here? Moon is contributing to some extent. Mercury, the 12th Lord itself is contributing. Okay. So now this becomes very critical uh, how to explain that if the 8th house has certain contributions and the 12th house doesn't have... Uh, but the point here is you have to check the majority okay it's like a democracy which means you see the ascendant which is very much affected by Saturn and uh, Venus Saturn being the fifth lord then you check the fifth house primarily then you check the eighth house then also you check the twelfth house okay. So again in the twelfth house Mercury has points there you see moon and Mercury has points okay. So Moon and Mercury is very important for him whenever it comes to the 12th house. So now Mercury is also the 12th Lord and the 9th Lord. So it can show uh, he might be interested in a foreigner also. Okay. But because here the 5th house has zero contribution in the 12th house. So uh, if he goes in a relationship with a foreigner, it will it will just be a relationship just for a namesake. You know, he's like he's actually not in love. He's just... Uh, playing around there okay so that's how you know what the person is doing when and where and any other house just check the 11th house leo leo again you see here mercury has five points now jupiter has too many points here okay but now the question is will is this person never interested in marriage well it's not like that because you see the second house Okay, second house Venus has whooping seven points, which is the Lagna Lord. So that means he is interested in marriage to some extent. Marriage in general, okay. He is not averse to marriage. He is not like, oh, I will never marry somebody. He is not like that, okay. And then you can also to some extent give an eye on the third house, okay. So what is the third house? Sagittarius. So what is going on here? Wow, the sun is contributing 7 points, you see. Sun is the 11th lord, so he is the dominator. So, if he wants to indulge with somebody for a short time, it will be one of his friends, okay. So, of course, there are many other things which I can say here. <clears throat> Mercury is there, multiplicity can be there. But anyways, it doesn't make sense to speak all those things. I hope you understood how to... 
see uh, see astak baba and how to analyze love affairs and uh, what kind of inclination this person has what does he find attractive in a person that pulls him to get into a relationship with that person okay so that you come to know here you see mercury and venus six points and here also uh, in the ascendant also venus has quite number of points here okay venus and moon okay and is he interested in getting married to the person who he loves well he is least interested because the fifth house has only one contribution from the second lord and the seventh lord mars okay so if these two were different then you would have to analyze differently okay how much the second lord was giving how much uh, the seventh lord is giving okay then that will have different meanings all right so of course there are a uh, thousand things we can keep discussing we can also discuss about the fourth house at times but that is more for marriage but currently we are talking of a love or affair or physical relation anything like that okay so thank you very much and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know more about astagvaga and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then please go down to the description section of my videos where you can find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him